Hello everybody, welcome. In this video we are going to learn how we can achieve this kind of design called ACID graphics or new wave. It's very easy to achieve this poster. You need like a really futuristic font like this one over here, some old school PNGs with a compact disc and some other album information that we can find on the internet. A picture like of a graphic or I don't know this is a liquid painting and yeah some textures that we can apply over the final design. Let's jump into Photoshop and start designing our own new wave slash acid graphics album cover. So we are going to start with a document which is 2000 by 2000 pixels resolution 72 alt backspace so we can fill our background with black the next thing that i like doing is to add some uh, noise the amount of noise depends on your document size but for my document which is 2000 by 2000 the amount will be 10 or 12 uniform and untick monochromatic let's start importing some graphics now we have to go to the layers menu double click on it and select color overlay make it white all right let's add some other images maybe we can add this one as well also this one looks good maybe yeah like this oh, we need to rasterize it i press e on the keyboard and then click ok now we need to play with the layers options a bit so we can see what we are doing maybe this one this one or the white one or this one without any background and then let's scale it in proportion with the compact disc one so the text will be understandable okay the next thing that we have to do is to find a liquid painting let's go with this one okay let's do another thing let's right click and select distort this should be fine always use guidelines so you will have like a visual balance to your image hit ctrl u on the keyboard and then bring down the saturation and now we can add some uh, noise on it but first of all rasterize your image and then go to filter noise add noise maybe yeah we should add some text this is a pretty cool one that i got like yesterday it's called ornamentum and i will provide a download link for the free use in the description of this video be sure to check it out also hit like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this for more free resources and content this font doesn't have like any space included so we have to click between the u and the w and then hold alt on your keyboard and then hit your uh, right arrow key and then we can turn it like this maybe can maybe we can make it the same size of our like image or we can change the font let's see yeah this one looks pretty cool so we have our new wave and then make it holding alt and dragging the right upper corner to make it cover the whole image we just have to play with the blending and maybe we should go on screen if you prefer you can move your text above the texture but i prefer leaving it like this you can select this mp3 audio hit ctrl c ctrl v we can delete the white or we can play with this one so so divide right divide will be let's just put it over here and see let's see if it works like this this works if you want you can add some color so how did i achieve this smiley face it's simple on your keyboard hold alt and then press one the number one key on your right side where is the num lock keyboard so we have this smiley over here we have to decide on the color that we would like to use on this image single accidents grotesque extended bold and then play a bit with maybe 60 yeah single ep we can add some elements like this over here 
track no let's see over here custom shape tool and then select the shape from here it looks bad not this one maybe the thinner one or we can design our custom arrow by selecting the rectangle to all like this and now we can select our polygon tool and then on the sides tab hitting tree and then creating a rectangle yes like this select them both and then hit this here and then merge them together and make them smaller use this guy over here so we have a bit of dynamic now we select all these guys group them together rotating moving them over here and then while holding the alt key on your keyboard you can scale them proportionally yeah we should add a guide here and then here right and then select our elements group and move them down a bit like this yeah this looks nice and we can also add some elements in here so it will have balance let's see if we have like this and then set it on divide barcode yeah barcode change its size and put it over here but first of all let's go maybe change the size a bit and then rotate it like this it doesn't look so pretty Control c Control v double clicking on it go to color overlay select white rotate it by holding shift scale it move it here yeah maybe change its size a bit and we should also add some elements on here this kind of designs you can add all sorts of elements that will make your composition more dynamic more clicking m on your keyboard and then selecting this guy then ctrl c ctrl v lighten will be okay scale it a bit so we have our elements our text elements over here and we have a bit of space in here yeah maybe we should change the overall size maybe we should change this guy in here and then in here all right then we have covered a bit more space maybe we should change this guy as well the size of it okay so the next thing they they like added some cross marks pasting on the center duplicate it like this and then on the right side like this and now you can add more textures or you can add some colors create a new layer move it on top by holding ctrl shift and right square bracket select a gradient holding shift like this yeah white and then we can move it on top of our gradient add some color balance on your overall design but don't forget to put it on top of everything i think that this is more more than enough without a color balance so yeah guys this is this is basically it for this tutorial i hope that you like it that you enjoyed it if so please consider liking this video subscribing to my channel commenting on your opinion regarding this tutorial is it good is it bad w would you like more tutorials like this I would like to do more tutorials on this acid wave stuff it looks like really interesting and i really like this type of designs so yeah don't be afraid just comment so yeah guys thank you once again and i'll see you in the next one stay safe and take care bye bye